in learning objective number seven, the last learning objective of this session, we're going to look at three loan types and loan amortization. Three different loan types we're going to talk about. First, a pure discount loan, uh, like a treasury bill, um, simple form, very, very simple form. You receive money today and you repay a single lump sum at some time in the future. Uh, very common and usually within a short period of time. Uh, so in this case, you buy a treasury bill. Uh, the government receives your money today and repays you uh, a lump sum at some time in the future. Um, another loan type you may see is a corporate bond, an interest-only loan, where uh, the borrower, the corporation, pays interest every period and gives you your principal back at some point in the future. So corporate bond is simply an interest-only loan. We're going to cover that in session number seven. Uh, essentially, a corporate bond is a uh, $1,000 interest-only loan that's typically paid back over a 30-year term. Uh, so they give you your 1000 bucks back at the end of uh, 30 years in this interest-only loan. Now, they do have to pay you some interest called a coupon each and every uh, year, uh, sometimes semi-annually, to keep you interested in this corporate bond. So that's how corporate bonds work. They pay you an interest amount each year, and they repay you your principal amount uh, back at the end of 30 years. We'll go over that in session number seven. Uh, third type of uh, very common type of loan you may encounter uh, is when you buy a house or a car and amortized loan. You pay some interest and principal every single month in the form of a total fixed payment, the so same amount each month, but uh, that may consist of $18 of interest and let's say $982 of, of uh, principal toward the very end of the loan, at the very beginning of the loan, the other way around. Uh, $982 of interest and $18 of principal in the early months, and then reverse that in the later months and years of the loan. And that's what we call an amortized loan. Still, you're going to pay 1000 bucks each month on this uh, home loan, and um, there are principal and interest involved in each one. In session six, we've uh, hopefully accomplished seven learning objectives. We've gone over how to calculate future value with multiple cash flows, whether those cash flows are different or cash flows are the same. Uh, we've also looked at uh, calculating present value with multiple cash flows. Again, contrasting to session five, where we only had one lump sum, now we have multiple cash flows. Third learning objective, you should know now how to calculate the present value of an annuity. Uh, useful for mortgages, car loans, student loans, and so on. Um, fourth learning objective, future value of an annuity. Who wants to be a millionaire? How much must I invest each and every year? to reach my financial goals. We can use future value annuity equation if it's same amount each month, same amount each year. Fifth learning objective, we looked at perpetuities. Present value of a perpetuity, a, an annuity that goes on forever, is C over R. Uh, in learning objective number six, we looked at EAR and compounding. Uh, if we see the words compounded annually, compounded daily, compounded monthly, uh, how do I calculate the EAR? And we gave you an equation for that. And finally, three types of loans that you're going to encounter in your daily life and how to and, and loan amortization, how to create a loan amortization table. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed session number six of Introduction to Finance.